right, we've got our second part to uh, make right here, and so let's get right to it. I'm going to make a sketch. I'm going to push my S key, actually. S key, and then my sketch button right there. And then I'm going to draw on the top, okay? And when I'm drawing on the top, I like to rotate to the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle, not my center point rectangle, a rectangle right there, second one in. And I want it to attach the edge of that. It's not working. You could try and guess, okay? Um, but didn't work. Check this out. We we missed. All right. So how do I get that to attach right there? We could use constraints. We'll get to that type of thing later. But one tool I want to show you. We're going to use the project lines tool. So if the lines I can't connect to them, uh, and I'll show you what it looks like when you can. It doesn't work then maybe we need to project some lines so you'll see the lines came in black and if i rotate you can see that there's lines around there on my sketch that i have on the top okay so i just projected those edges onto my object and i need those so that i can draw this thing and connect to it so now let's try let's go to s key and my what's it rectangle and now watch as i hover the line turns orange and then there's a black uh, a rectangle there as well so it means it's centered so i'm good to go i'm going to draw a rectangle right there and be good to go and then i'm going to draw one right here and then i'm going to draw one more from right here okay and i'm going to actually connect it to that one so uh i've got a few too many lines right now so what we're going to do is trim and i'm going to trim that right there that we're going to cut out the insides of this and that out there and just get rid of that one. Good to go. Now we can dimension. I push the D key is dimension. I have my hand on the keyboard. So and then I'm going to drag it out here and we want all these to be, I believe, one eighth. Um, let's double check. So we got to have one eighth there, 0.75, one eighth on the rest of them. So. <laughs> One eighth, one eighth. Let's go ahead and make this line right here, 0.75 or three fourths. Okay, and then we got from this blue line to this black line right here is going to be one eighth. And notice as I'm doing this, all these lines are turning from blue to black. Okay, and then one eighth here. So I have to click on each line. I click. I'm comparing between that line this line and then placing the dimension that looks like a pretty good sketch i'm going to go ahead and green checkbox it there's my sketch that i made now i'm going to go ahead and extrude it okay and we're going to make a new part it might try and join see look at it changed it changed over to add so it's just going to add it to this existing part but we want a new part so notice they're, they're different colors okay and that's important to know and I believe it is one inch. Yes, it's one inch. And then let's go ahead and go symmetric again. Let's keep it in the center. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Right? Yes. Now we're good to go there. We're going to cut a hole out right here. So I'm going to go sketch with S short key and then click right here. And then I'm clicking on that surface. I'm drawing right on that surface. Notice I'm not on. This work plane, the front, I am on this work, this work plane right here on this. Now I'm going to change to the fronts. Let's get a circle going. I do want it connected symmetrically, right? I don't, I want it in the middle. And so I'm going to click it right there and I'm going to place it. Let's check our size of that hole. That hole on the outside is smaller than the other one. And that one, well, I'm going to tell you that one is a quarter inch and the other one's three eighths. So. Let's get to it. Uh, corner inch is 0.25. Oh, my, I, was, I changed windows, so I can't do it. Let's go and go 0.25. Use my dimension tool. And that's not where I want it. I'm going to get out and push this and push the edge, right? So I click the center point and then I click this edge out here. I'm going to place it up here. And we're going to go 0.3. It is about centered. We're going to go 0.3. That looks pretty good. We're going to go hit green checkbox. And now we're extruding a cut again. So I'm going to push S and extrude. Click it on my circle. 
and we are removing material and on depth this time let's just go up to next so it'll stop when it gets to the other side of it right that's handy for when you got multiple edges and everything looks good we're going to go ahead green checkbox new tool right now new tool we are going to mirror what we've done already so if we go to this tool right here the mirror tool it's asking me what do i want to mirror okay right here i want to mirror that part right or you could come over here and say part two but i want to mirror that part mirror plane well you've got two options on this one so i want to mirror it basically across my right okay hey did it and we're actually we don't want to make an, a new part we want to add uh, and we're adding to merge scope it doesn't know what to add to we're going to add it to part two okay uh, and so that should make it all one part rather than get me three parts down here so um again on my mirror plane let's take a look at that real quick again i deleted that one off i could have selected this surface down here because that is the the mirror spot as well let's see them match it to the other side okay so and then merge scope we we merged it to that okay we're good to go green checkbox one more hole and we're done with this part so now let's go and draw a sketch and we're putting it on this surface out top here okay this surface I got it on face of extrude three rotating. I want a circle in the center. And I'm going to click point three seven five three eight. Boom. Again, we're going to use our uh, finish my sketch and then now I got to extrude. We're going to remove material again and we're only going to go up to next and we're merging to part two only if i wanted to cut through part one as well i could add that right here and then it would cut all the way through both of them right merge all didn't work oh that's because i have up to next <laughs> uh it's good to make mistakes now it would cut all the way through but that's good now we saw how up to next works I had already clicked on it so it's not going to cut through the second part even though it was merged to it confusing maybe that's a little more advanced for some of us uh and our part looks solid let's go ahead and green checkbox that boom we're done made this thing so uh this is the part design in the assembly we actually are going to define how this thing's going to move so it, it can move up and down and we can define that later and bring in an extra one. So we're done modeling parts. Congratulations. We'll see you on the next one. Bada bing, bada boom.